I've been trying to spend equal time working on the black box and the thin film cells simultaneously. But you know, you end up working on either one or the other, so it's, it's really kind of a tough thing. But anyway, I have developed a really interesting new cell. I call this thing, for lack of a better term, I call it a USB cell. The reason that I call it that is because its voltage output range is from 5.2 to 6.2 volts. And you say, well, how can it have that much range? Why wouldn't it just be stabilized? It, at one voltage. Well, if you put it in the freezer for a few hours, pull it out, it's still going to be 5.2. But if it's in a little warmer environment, it can pick up an extra volt, go up to up about 6.2 volts, which is pretty warm in, in here right now. But, but you can see that the thing is just totally encompassed in a graphite grid, and which that makes it a little bit more sensitive to thermal activity, and Hence, uh, it expands the silicon and picks up a little bit extra electron activity inside between the plates. So uh, here it is. We'll check it out. Take a look and see if it's still at, uh, should be about 6 or 6.2 volts. And there it is, 6.2. So uh, it's interesting that, uh, that it does have that range. But but with a few of these stacked together, uh, just by themselves, since it ha already has the, the right uh, power, 6.2 is no big deal. With some controls, you can knock it down to 5.0 or 5.1 for USB charging or USB devices. Uh, you just need a few of these encased in, um, in uh, parallel with each other so that you get the current up enough to, to do some work. But you can kind of see it, it looks like big ones and zeros, it's interesting. It's almost like a digital cell, but it, but it's uh, it's pretty neat, and it's thin film, it's flexible. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to show you what I was working on right now.